Hi, I'm Kendall from Educating Abroad on Teachers Pay Teachers. And today I'm here to share a game that is great if you're teaching about recycling or maybe reviewing a recycling unit, or maybe you're looking for something to incorporate into an Earth Day activity. So this game is lots of fun to play with your students. It's a digital game that can be played either in person by projecting or online just by sharing your screen on Zoom or Google Meets. This game is um, lots of fun for students because there are many possible answers. Everyone can join in. It's accessible to all students and all abilities. Um, what doesn't belong recycling game? In this game, there are 10 different rounds and it's a, really a visual discrimination and categorizing game that also incorporates a lot of speaking and listening. So like I said, there are 10 rounds. So I'd like to share with you two of the rounds that are included. So it begins like this. What doesn't belong? An aluminum can, aluminum foil with food inside, clean aluminum foil, or an aluminum pull tab. Now I give students the chance to think a little bit. And then if they, if you think you know the answer, then put your finger on your nose and then let students share what they think. It's really wonderful because the students might come up with um, answers that you hadn't even thought of. It really gives you a bit of an insight into your students' thought processes and to just the way that they're, they're thinking about the world around them. I provide one possible answer that has to do with recycling in this case. So clean aluminum products can be recycled but anything with food should stay out of your recycling bin. What doesn't belong? A drink carrier, plastic bottles, styrofoam cups, or an egg carton. So students will think and maybe they'll have an idea like, oh, it's the egg carton because it's the only thing that doesn't hold a drink. That's actually correct too. But the answer that I've given is it's the styrofoam because styrofoam cannot be recycled. So there are 10 different game rounds in this set and they're all about recycling. Now I use information about recycling that's most widely used throughout the United States. So there may be some slight discrepancies depending on what's accepted in your local recycling containers. If you want to see all of the answer slides, please visit the listing on Teachers Pay Teachers and view the preview because the preview will show all the answers. And if you're looking for other games to play throughout the school year, I encourage you to visit my store on, on Teachers Pay Teachers called Educating Abroad. I really have games for the entire school year. They can be played during morning meetings or fun Fridays, or they may even incorporate into lessons you're already doing, like this one. If you're looking for games for Earth Day or in springtime, here are a few that I can suggest. Head on over to Teachers Pay Teachers. There's a link in the description below. You can find my store, Educating Abroad, and be sure to click on the free section because I have lots of free games available. So I encourage you to download a free game, play it with your students, see how they enjoy it and get on with it. And then if you'd like, you can come back and buy some games that might also work for your class. So I just really hope that you enjoy playing games together, that you have fun, and you build class and community by just playing. Um, thank you for watching this short demonstration. I hope to see you next time. Bye.